Yeah. So Greg said, Greg doesn't really think about audience too much. So I said, um, maybe you are blocking that thought because it gives you a certain freedom to work on your stuff. Like, you know, when you get hung up on like this nipple over here, like what are people going to talk about nipple so much? Or like, what else? Like this little drops of water, like really beautiful and he doesn't want to talk about temporal and sort of like block you <laughs> to give you a certain freedom. Can you talk about like how you feel about the audience and you like, you know, earlier you said you don't really think about when you work. Well, I don't think you can because I don't know who the audience is going to be. And so if I say that I'm making work uh, thinking of an audience, I'd be lying because the audience for my work, people understand it and enjoy it, might all be babies right now. Like they may, I, I might not know them, I, they haven't grown up yet, I mean, who knows? And I think that artists who talk... So grandpa and grandma cannot like your work? They anybody doesn't <laughs> like it. I mean, it's fine. But that's what I mean, like, I don't know who they are. But I, I come from a, at it from a different viewpoint. I think that if I like it and I'm excited by it, then other people will be that the audience will organize itself. I don't have to pretend like I'm organizing the audience for my work. The audience will organize itself, or not at all. And so that's my viewpoint. It's not that I say, oh, you don't think about audience. It's that you can't, really. Or I can't. And so I think if I make something that I think is interesting and valid and exciting to look at, I'm not the only one who's going to think of that. There will be others out there, but I don't know who they are. I can't know who they are. Well, but get to the point, like, you're part of the, um, you know, images you're using, like, anus, cis, or a body parts, nipple, or, like, or woman's you know, organ and men's, TV like, well, yeah, that, there's right definitely, when you, when you paint that, how can you not think about people's reaction? You probably, like, tell me. Tell me about that. No, I don't think about the reaction. I mean, I, when I did the uh, the mistress pieces, the characters, which were the first ones I did in the series for this project, The Timon of Athens, I wanted to work from the figure because I realized I'd never painted a human figure. But I didn't want to start with portraiture, so I thought, what would be the opposite of portraiture? So I went to the anti-portrait. So I, you know, I thought, well, well this will be interesting. The uh, you know, the, the anus as, as the, uh, you know, the image. And I thought, well, this is non-heroic. Like, nobody's going to be proud of that. Nobody's going to want to show that. <laughs> and I, I believe that I could take the thing that's discarded and not acknowledged that no one thinks is pretty, and I could make it beautiful. I could make it sort of beautiful in the modernist sense, in, in you know, in the contemporary sense. Um... And this will sound funny, but I also had never made work that had radial composition, and this is technical. And you'll notice that uh, I am using a lot of imagery that is circular. Mm -hmm. It radio, has radial composition. Mm -hmm. I have daisies and flattering lords, the mm -hmm. angels and the mistresses, uh, some of these dots and lumps of paint in the Timon of Athens. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be using records for certain servants. Right, so it has a, some sort of a formal concern as well. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's always all of these things. So you earlier you talked about like you know you are not thinking about like being funny either. Like humor is not the concern you have in your mind. No, of course not. But what about like well, my I think it's like humor. It's a little that means too you're light. Laughing at me. Um, <laughs> Well, I I like humor personally. I'm sorry, but like I certainly see the irony like within like your you know paintings because like you know you're painting anuses, right. but you know you're not using um like a funny language or like mark making. So your mark making, so the way you handle the paint and then rendering the object is really really, how can I say like sincere and then well thought out, almost like heavy handed in a way. So maybe that's why people cannot laugh at it because it's like seriously you spend good amount of time rendering that anus. I you know? take it seriously, sure. So that's why they were not laughing out loud but I'm sure that little bit of shock 
in their minds, in people's minds, it's there. They're not expressing it out loud, but it's there. Like, wow, it's the painting of anuses. They have their little shocking moment in their mind. I would use, I would say not irony and not humor, but what I would say is I've inverted the terms of figure painting. Uh, and so the thing you expect to be painted is not. The thing you absolutely never would expect to be painted is. And responding to that kind of inversion of expectation, I think, dislocates people a bit. I mean, it dislocated me to make them. And that kind of dislocation I find useful. And some people respond to that dislocation with that sort of nervous laughter. Right. I think this is good. Thank you.